Hey guys, got another review here for you today. This time we're going to be taking a look at the STX Stallion U500. So this is one of the uh, newer heads from STX. It's got uh, the 500 technology where it's, I believe it's 5% lighter than the original version of the Stallion. Uh, you also see this in the Surgeon 500 and the Surgeon 10 500. Um, but overall, STX did a nice job of revamping this stallion head uh, produced by Kyle Harrison. Um, first thing that I noticed was it's a lot beefier, especially up at the scoop. Um, you'll notice that the actual holes of the scoop are much deeper um, than they were in the past. And then uh, on the old stallion, they were actually more inset uh, in, in the scoop, which kind of gave it a little bit of protection. Um, the other thing that you'll notice is that it's also redesigned so that way you kind of have like this inner outer scoop so you're able to pick up ground balls pretty nicely uh, but you also have a nice shooting scoop as well. Um, other thing that's pretty beefy is the sidewall rails got, got a huge makeover. Um, they're much more beefy now. Um, doesn't really add a whole lot of weight to the head but it certainly does make it a lot stiffer. Um, I really like that addition. Uh, the whole sidewall railing is actually a lot stiffer, which is nice. Um, a thing that I also noticed is on the top here is you kind of have a little bit of the uh, sim rail technology from Warrior. Uh, they kind of cut out a little bit of the sidewall here. So that way you get a nice kind of cut down weight to it. Um, still, strings up great, you know with the STX4 cant, this one is a little bit more uh, deep than the other ones, kind of creates more of a higher pocket. You can see there, just a nice one. Um, the holes are kind of a little bit too wide for my taste. Um, and the reason why is it's, it's bittersweet because you can get multiple strings through there, um, even if you were to actually loop one around for a tie. Um, but at the same time, it really, really creates a lot of separation between the strings because the string naturally wants to sit at, uh, at the edge of the sidewall hole. But as you pull down, uh, you know, you're obviously creating more separation, which creates tension that is most likely unwanted by most stringers. Um, it still is string up great, multiple string holes, obviously. Um, I don't know how many there are, I'm going to guess probably uh, you know, 16, 17, somewhere around that range. Um, it does have the C-channel incorporated again, and I honestly hate stringing sticks that have C-channel because it pulls the mesh way wider than it should, um, obviously kind of giving you a hard time on the channel, uh, but you can see I still was able to get a pretty decent one. Um, really. That's my only complaint with stringing besides the bottom holes. Uh, the two in the center are way too far apart from each other. It makes a really, really awkward bottom string. Um, so not very good placement by STX on those bottom strings. Uh, you Ideally, you would like to see all four kind of separated at an even length. Um, everything else very good about this head. Love the throat of it. It's a nice design to it. Feels really ergonomic in your hand. Um, so that's the STX Stallion U500. Very stiff head. Uh, develops a great pocket um, and you're really really going to be able to snag some nice uh, passes with this as well as have a nice shooting stroke. So Please, if you like this video, make sure you like it, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys.